A coupé utility is a vehicle with a passenger compartment at the front and an integrated cargo tray at the rear, with the front of the cargo bed doubling as the rear of the passenger compartment. The term originated in the 1930s, where it was used to distinguish passenger car-based two-door vehicles with an integrated cargo tray from traditional pickup trucks that have a separate cargo bed from the passenger compartment. Since the 2000s, these vehicles have also been referred to as pickups, car-based pickup, and car-based truck. In Australia, where the traditional style of coupe utility remained popular until it ceased production in 2017, it is commonly called a ute, although the term is also used there to describe traditional style pickups. History The body style originated in Australia. It was the result of a 1932 letter from the wife of a farmer in Victoria, Australia, to Ford Australia asking for a vehicle to go to church in on a Sunday and which can carry our pigs to market on Mondays. In response, Ford designer Lou Bant developed a vehicle to meet the client's request. Commencing in October 1933 with assistance from draftsman A. Scott, Bant used the passenger compartment and roof from the Ford V85 window coupe and extended the rear section using a single fixed side panel on each side, with a hinged tailgate at the rear to create the load-carrying compartment. The model was released in July 1934 as the coupe utility. In his book, Early Australian Automotive Design, The First Fifty Years Australian motoring historian Norm Darwin suggests the idea was not a big leap in design from the existing roadster utility that had been produced by various manufacturers as early as 1924. Darwin also suggests that the idea was being developed by other manufacturers simultaneously, as General Motors Holdings Limited released Bedford and Chevrolet Coupe utilities in September 1934 only two months after Ford, with the main difference being the use of the three-window coupe roof on the GMH products. Other manufacturers were quick to follow with coupe utilities based on various passenger and light truck chassis. In North America, this idea was also trialed by some manufacturers. Studebaker created the Studebaker Coupe Express and sold it between 1937 to 1939. In 1951, Holden released a model based on its 48 to 215 sedan, reinforcing the Australian tradition of home-grown two-door passenger car sedan chassis based utility. Vehicles with a tray at the back, known colloquially as a ute, although the term is also applied to larger vehicles such as pickup trucks. America followed suit with the release of the Ford Ranchero in 1957 and Chevrolet El Camino in 1959. <laughs> North American models Chevrolet El Camino the Chevrolet El Camino is a coupé utility, pickup vehicle that was produced by Chevrolet from 1959 to 1960 and from 1964 to 1987. Introduced in 1958 for the 1959 model year in response to the success of the Ford Ranchero pickup, its first run lasted only two years. Production resumed in 1963 for the 1964 model year based on the Chevelle platform. In 1977, for the 1978 model year, it was shifted to the GMG body platform. Production finished in 1987. Although based on corresponding Chevrolet car lines, the vehicle is classified and titled in North America as a truck. GMC's badge-engineered El Camino variant, the Sprint, was introduced in 1970 for the 1971 model year. It was renamed Caballero in 1977 for the 1978 model year, and produced until 1987. In Spanish, El Camino means, the road, or, path. Other North American coupé utilities 1982–1984 Dodge Rampage 1981–1982 Ford Durango 1957–1959 Ford Ranchero full size, 1960 to 1965 Ford Falcon Ranchero Falcon Compact 1966 to 1979 Ford Ranchero midsize 1971 to 1987 GMC Sprint Caballero GMC rebadge of the El Camino 1983 Plymouth Scamp Topic South American models 
Since the 1970s, utes have been built in Brazil under European car maker badges, usually based in hatchbacks, such as the Ford Courier, based on the Ford Fiesta MKIV. Current examples include the Chevrolet Montana, based on the Opel Corsa and later on the Chevrolet Agile, the Peugeot Hogger, based on the South American Peugeot 207, the Volkswagen Severo, based on the Volkswagen Gol, and the Fiat Strada, based on the Fiat Palio. Other South American coupe utility models: 1983 to 1994 Chevrolet Chevy 500, Brazil; 1953 to 1979 Citroen 2CV, Citroenetta. South America only 1971 to 1990 Dodge 1500 Uruguay 1988 to 1994 Fiat Fiorino 1996 present Fiat Strata 1998 to 2013 Ford Courier Brazil 1973 to 1991 Ford Falcon Ranchero Argentina 1982 to 1997 Ford Pampa Brazil 2010 to 2014 Peugeot Hogger 2015 present Ram 700 Mexico exclusive rebadged version of the Fiat Strata 1980 present Volkswagen Severo Pointer Coupe utility Topic <laughs> Asian models 1991 to 1995 Daihatsu Mira P1 Miracab 2004 to 2007 Geely Rural Nanny 1975 to 1990 Hyundai Pony 1965 to 1971 Mitsubishi Colt 800 1990 to 1998 Nissan NV Thailand domestic models built under license 2002 to 2010 Proton Arena Jumbuck 2002 to 2006 Subaru Baja sold in the United States Canada and Chile 1978–1993 Subaru Brat, Brumby, Shifter per Megavolt, Targa 1983–1988 Suzuki Mighty Boy 2000–2001 Toyota BB Open Deck 1960–1969 Toyota Corona Coupe Utility 1962–1971 Toyota, Toyota Crown Masterline Coupe Utility 1968–1974 Toyota Mark II Coupe Utility 1964 to 1988 Toyota Publica Coupe Utility, Toyota Coupe Utility. Topic: <laughs> South African models. Australian Holden Kingswood, Ford Falcon, and Chrysler Valiant Utes were sold in South Africa as the Chevrolet El Camino, Ford Ranchero, and Valiant Rustler, respectively. Some rebadged versions of South American Utes are sold in South Africa, where the term. Backy, instead of Ute, is popular under different names, such as the Chevrolet Montana and the Ford Courier, sold there as Chevrolet Utility and Ford Bantam, respectively. Other South American coupe utility models: 1975 to 1979 Dodge Husky, South Africa; 1989 to 2002 Mazda Rustler, rebadged second generation Ford Bantam. 2008–present Nissan NP200 rebadged Dacia Logan pickup, built and sold in South Africa. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> European models. Austin Marina, a coupe utility based on the 1971–1980 Morris Marina with a 1,275cc engine, was badged as an Austin. There were never many of these truck variants sold. Mini. Variously badged pickup variants were built on the chassis of the Mini Estate wagon. Other European coupe utilities: 1949 to 1952 Armstrong Siddeley Whitley 18 Utility Coupe. 1949 to 1952 Armstrong Siddeley Whitley 18 Station Coupe, extended cab with a rear seat. 1956 Austin A35. 1957 to 1973 Austin A55 Cambridge. 1950 to 1954 Austin A70 Hereford, comma light pickup, commercial variant of the Hillman Minx, 2007 to 2012 Dacia Logan pickup, 1975 to 2012 Dacia Logan Logan 2, 1955 to 1966 Peugeot 403, 1979 to 1996 Peugeot 504, 
1975 to 1985 Simca 1100 1991 to 1995 Skoda pickup 1994 to 2001 Skoda Felicia pickup fun 1954 to 1960 standard 600 weight utility commercial variant of the standard 10 1950 to 1964 standard Vanguard utility also sold as standard pickup truck 1979 to 2007 Volkswagen Caddy TYP14 Rabbit Coupe utility 1996 to 2001 Volkswagen Caddy TYP9U rebadged Skoda Felicia Coupe utility C 1952 Singer SM1500 1966 to 1991 Wartburg 353 Trans Topic Middle Eastern models 1967 to 2005 Pakan Coupe Utility Iran 2008 present SAIPA pickup Topic Australian models Coupe utilities have been produced in Australia since the 1930s the three major Australian manufacturers GM Holden, Ford and Chrysler offered coupé utility versions of their most popular models and many of the smaller manufacturers also offered coupé utilities in their range. In many cases, if a coupé utility was not available as part of the regular model range an aftermarket coach builder would build one to customer order. Coupé utilities were also offered by various manufacturers on light truck style chassis, alongside their regular style pickup and cab chassis offerings. Examples include, Ford 1934–1940 Ford Coupe Utility 1941–1948 Ford 1949–1951 Ford 1946–1953 Ford Anglia A54A 1946–48 and Anglia A494A 1949–53 1956–1962 Ford Consul Mark II and Ford Zephyr Mark II 1960 to 1999 Ford Falcon from 1999 to 2016 the Falcon utility had a separate pickup bed and was therefore no longer strictly a coupe utility 1952 to 1959 Ford Mainline 1949 to 1951 Ford Pilot 1953 to 1955 Ford Popular 103E 1939 to 1953 Ford Prefect E938 E03A 1939 to 45 Ford Prefect A53A 1946 to 48 and Prefect A493A 1948 to 53 1937 1938 Ford 10 600 weight coupe utility 1946 to 1958 Mercury Club coupe 1989 to 1991 Nissan Ute badge engineered version of the Ford Falcon XF utility General Motors Holden from 1934 various GM chassis were available fitted with coupé utility bodywork Bedford JC 600 weight carryall commercial variant of the Vauxhall J series 14 to 6 Chrysler 1946 to 1948 Chevrolet Stylemaster 1949 to 1952 Chevrolet Styleline 1951 to 1968 Holden 1990 to 2017 Holden Commodore Holden Ute models from 2000 to 2017 were marketed as Holden Utes not Commodores 1968 to 1984 Belmont Kingswood 1952 to 1954 Vauxhall Wyvern E series and 1952 to 1957 Velox E series From 1935 various Dodge Plymouth and Fargo chassis were available fitted with coupe utility bodywork 1958–1961 Chrysler Wayfarer 1965–1971 Chrysler Valiant – Valiant Wayfarer 1971–1978 Chrysler Valiant 1956–1957 DeSoto Diplomat 1966–1976 Dodge – Lower spec version of the Valiant – Wayfarer Utility 1956–1957 Dodge Kingsway 1956–1957 Plymouth Cranbrook, Savoy, Belvedere BMC Austin A40 Devon Several unique variants were offered on the Australian market, including the Austin A40 panel side and the A40 high light 1956 Austin A50 Austin A55 Cambridge 
1968 to 1971 Austin 1800 standard Morris 8 series 2 series E and series Z standard Vanguard Triumph Mailerwerutz Group 1939 Hillman 14 1956 Hillman Deluxe Utility based on Mark 8 Hillman Minx Lightburn Zeta Utility Topic Prototypes AMC Cowboy, derived from the Hornet, it was intended to compete with small pickups from Japan, but the project was cancelled after AMC acquired Jeep, which already sold small pickups. Austin Metro Ranger, a concept based on the first generation model, it featured a full roll bar, floodlights, and a rear mounted spare. BMW M3 Ute Pickup, on April Fool's Day 2011, BMW announced the BMW M3 Ute Pickup. This vehicle was based on the E93 convertible and featured a structured aluminum pickup bed and removable targa roof. It was created by BMW's M division as a one-off workshop transport vehicle for use within the company. It was actually the second such ute that BMW built for this purpose, they had previously built one using a first-generation M3 convertible in 1986. This coupe ute served the factory for 26 years before the April Fool's car was built to replace it. Pontiac G8 Street, a rebadged Holden Ute which is based on the Holden Commodore sedan, which is badged as a Pontiac G8 in the USA which was shown at the New York International Auto Show in March 2008. It was slated for release as a 2010 model, but was cancelled before any were sold. Toyota X-Runner. Concept vehicle displayed by Toyota Australia at the 2003 Melbourne and Sydney International Motor Shows. The body shell was largely based on that of the first-generation Avalon production of which picked up in Australia a few months after it left off in North America, and lasted until 2005, while the suspension AWD parts were borrowed from the contemporary Lexus RX. It was intended for production, but Toyota of Australia could not get approval from the parent company. <laughs> See also